Hello fellow scientists, so in today's crash course, we'll be going over Earth's layers, how Michigan was formed, rock formation, plate tectonics and Alfred Wegener, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Let's start off with the Earth's interior. Earth has layers sort of like an onion. It has four layers. They are the crust, mantle, core, and the inner core. It's basically made up of soft metal, soft silver, and soft moist minerals. It's about 0.473% of Earth's mass. In the crust is where sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic rocks are. Sedimentary rocks are formed from all of Earth's materials like sand, dirt, and dead plants. Sedimentary rocks would be like limestone, siltstone, and sandstone. Igneous are formed from when a volcano erupts and the magma cools. That cooled magma is igneous rock. Slate, marble, and quartzite would all be igneous rocks. Last but not least is the metamorphic. These are formed from heat and pressure on Earth's materials. An example of metamorphic rocks would be tuff, obsidian, and granite. Then right below the crust is the mantle. The mantle is basically like a solid layer, even though it can deform and turn into plastic. It's made up of iron, magnesium, aluminum, silicone, oxygen, and silicate. The core is the third layer. Molten is most of this layer. All of the Earth's magnetic field is here. The inner core is the fourth layer. This layer is completely unattached to the mantle. The mantle is the controller for plate tectonics. In 1912, the plate tectonics theory was born by Alfred Wegener. He had suggested that the continents used to be one big continent. It was called the Pangaea. However, over time it went from the South Pole and the Earth's rotation had broke it apart like a cracker. From the cracking of the ground, we have had many earthquakes which we will discuss later. In 1929, Arthur Holmes saw Wegener's idea and thought, if a substance heats and its density decreases and cools until it's ready to set, after this, in the 1960s, scientists believed that the seafloor's convection from the mantle made the Pangaea break apart. This is how countries, continents, and states such as Michigan have been formed. Over time, it has taken Michigan thousands of years to form. The small lakes formed by pieces of glaciers falling on to or into the ground. They would eventually melt and create a small lake. These types of lakes are called kettle holes. The lake was created by small rocks from Canada that at some point came to Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. These rocks formed the sand dunes, beaches, and wetlands that we have today. These small rocks turned into gravel and other rocks. This made Michigan on top of different types of rocks. The glaciers naturally worn away with these rocks embedded in them. This is how the dry land of Michigan has been formed. The wetlands were made from the water draining from the lakes and kettle holes. The sand that came from the glaciers has formed our Michigan shorelines. On many shorelines, there are volcanoes on them. A volcano is not just a giant mountain spewing out lava. It's so much more than that. A volcano is basically a mountain with a crater filled with lava or magma. They also have rocks, gas, and hot vapor besides lava. They come in several shapes, a cone, wide platius, fissure vents, and large domes. When volcanoes erupt, they can reflect radiation from the sun and drop average temperatures about half a degree. Most volcanoes erupt from magma that rises from the mantle, cracking the ground. When a volcano erupts, it is because of tectonic plates moving around, making earthquakes and eruptions take place. An earthquake is a violent shaking of the ground for about 30 to 35 seconds. There are three types of earthquakes, volcano tectonic, harmonic tremor, and long period. Volcano tectonic earthquakes are when magma is injected or released from the ground. A harmonic tremor earthquake is when the magma and volcanic gases vent from the ground. A long period earthquake is when magma is injected into rock. Earthquake locations can change when magma rises steadily. Most earthquakes take place in the northern hemisphere. Well, 
Now that you know all about geology and earth, I don't want to make your brain erupt, so I'm just going to go.